Yes, students, let us see what is there in this question. A group of students perform an experiment to find the refractive index of a glass block. They measure various values of the angle of incidence I and the angle of refraction R for a ray entering the glass from A. So first of all, um, I must say like this is the glass and this is air. and light is trying to enter into it. Obviously, when it the, when the light is moving from a rarer medium to the denser medium, so the light bends towards the normal. So it would be now going like this. So it will bend towards the normal. Like this. Yeah. Okay, so this angle will be taken as I. This angle will be taken as R. They measure the various angles, I and R and they plot the graph of sine r and sine i. They determine the gradient of the slope to be m, gradient of the graph to be m, which of the following gives the critical angle of the glass. So we are basically interested in the critical angle. Well, my dear students, critical angle comes into the context when we are talking about total internal reflection, T, I, R. So the first statement given in the question has no relation with the TIR, but the question they are asking is completely based on TIR. So there are two different topics that are trying to relate with each other. Let us see. So this is about the refraction and I have drawn here. We would be using Snell's law for this. Let me call this refractive index as N1 and this as N2. Clearly, N1 sine I will be equal to N2 sine R. Well, this is the Snell's law. So I have directly written the Snell's law. I've not done anything. So be very particular about Snell's law. N1 is the refractive index in which is containing I. N2 is the refractive index which is containing R. And that is why N1 into sine I is equal to N2 into sine R. You can just remember it in this formation now. So let us now move next. So the slope of this, the slope of this will be The slope will be y divided by x. So it is going to be sine r divided by sine i. Sine r divided by sine i will be n1 divided by n2. Yes. So n1 by n2 is m. And for air, n is equal to, n1 is equal to 1. So I can substitute it here. So let us just call it 1 by n. So this n2 is taken as n and n1 is taken as 1. So I'm just calling it like this. So this is the slope m. Now we are moving to the total internal reflection. So let me first explain what is happening in TIR. It's like that. So this is the angle at which, like I, let me call this as theta critical. So this is the angle at which the ray is coming. TIR happens only when the light source is in the denser medium, like as if there is a bulb uh, under the uh, swimming pool, under the water, okay? So this is your source, which is producing the light, and light is trying to get out of uh, this. So what happens is that eventually this light, it goes like this. This is known as grazing angle. the grazing angle grazing angle and so this angle becomes 90 degree so we can say that this was actually the incident angle now in this case this will be the refracted angle but this is going to be equal to 90 degree so in in regards to uh, theta critical the snell's law will be like that so this refractive index is n and this is air so i'm taking it as one so n into sine i is equal to 1 as the refractive index into sine 90, which is again 1. Clear? So i will be taken as theta critical. Clearly, Theta critical is equal to sine inverse 
1 by n, isn't it? Because this n will go to the other side and uh, the sine will be taken as inverse. So theta critical will be equal to sine inverse of 1 by n. Okay, this is done. Now what? So 1 by n is taken as the slope m, which is sine r by sine i. What are the options? Let me see. Sine of m. So you want to find the theta critical. In the terms of m, we have to find. Okay. So in the terms of m. So m is equal to 1 by n. So we can clearly say that it is sine inverse m. Clear? So the answer, we will see what is the answer. But here, let me explain you a bit more about the TIR. A couple of things. You see, what is TIR? Now, if the angle of the, in, the uh, incidence is lesser than theta critical, the light is going to come out of the medium. But definitely there will be bending of the light, but light will come out of the medium. But if I talk about another case in which the angle of incidence is greater than the theta critical, so it will be getting reflected back into the medium. This is what is the essence of theta critical. So if the incidence angle is greater than theta critical, total reflection takes place for the radiation internally. It means like internal inwards. And if I talk about uh, the line drawn in pink, the incidence angle should be lesser than theta critical. So my dear students, this is how we do this question. I believe this should be pretty clear uh, to the students. So your answer will be clearly A. And this is how we do this question. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also join the YouTube channel if you want to access the solutions for paper two questions. All the best. Bye.